the piece I'm going to do tonight is, uh, it's basically the true story of what it was like for me, what happened, and what it's like now. And uh, when I was a younger man, I made some decisions before I was fully mature in my mind about what a man was and what a man did, um, and those impacted the way that I lived my life and almost lost it. The universe has a sense of humor because I've been sober for over nine years, and after the uh, surgeon saw fit to go in and rearrange the bones uh, in my arm on Wednesday, I've been taking narcotics. So, which is why I introduced myself as high. Uh, <laughs> so, this is novel. This is the uh, this is the story of what it was like for me, what happened, and what it's like now. When I was younger, I was simply complex. I had more answers than questions, and I was frantically wrestling with this problem of perception. But now I'm keeping my eyes open and hoping to learn the fundamental truths of my going concerns. I mean the present state of my life, my time, my ex-wife, my mind, my knife, the divine. So line by line, I try to define just what the fuck I've been up to. Most of my life, it was about how it could fuck you. Disrupt you, buck you, deconstruct you, punk you, drunk you, with a shank in his pocket walking amongst you. I didn't know how to live or give without taking it. Give me what you got, a jaws of ribs I was breaking, selling dope out my mom's basement. You wanted, I had it, heartless and savage. I lived that life regardless of how it affected my family and friends. I was scrambling for ends with no means, no dreams, and no mental defense against the substances I needed more and more to survive. Alcohol to numb the pain of staying alive, plus injections and inhalations effectively demonstrating my lack of power. In a fucked up situation, I was growing impatient with this living shit, but unable to die, unable to laugh, unable to cry, a self-made slave with invisible manacles an animal whose life had been reduced to a mechanical nightmare. My head wasn't better with sedatives, medically better than dead by a little. This kid'll never get headed the right direction. Or so they said of me, I was bleeding out of both ends, and the doctors said eventually that would kill me. Predicted two years at the most. I drank for two and a half more. Believe me, y'all, I cut it close. Not trying to boast, but my addictions had me stuck until I got so low, the only way to go was up. I went to a facility where I could be detoxed without it killing me, shaking and hallucinating still. I did it willingly. I'd had enough of this running shit, slumming, inflicting punishment on anyone that got close to me. The end was coming quick, but not quick enough for my taste. My fears I had to face to make a 28-day story short. I wound up in a place with other alcoholics and junkies, bumpy, smelling funky, having convulsions and seeing pinwheels and flying monkeys. <laughs> Before I knew it, I was out, back on the street, still shaky as fuck, still sweating through my sheets. I was afraid of my shadow, <laughs> mad at the sun, and fuck the moon, and I knew, without a doubt, that I would be drunk soon. Unless I found a solution to my substance abuse, and man, it's fucking confusing when you suffer from delusions telling you just this once, or it'll be different this time, or it's my birthday, or Easter, or Tuesday, or it's only wine or any number of other excuses. My mind is ruthless and it wants me dead or in a hospital bed, homeless and toothless. The whistle on the train, it ain't to warn about cabooses. It's that engine that kills you. And at the end, it is still true that the answer lies in the destruction of self. I had to burn it down and get built back up with the foundation that's sound. And the service of others is where the answer was found. For me, it's a choice. Seek the solution and end up underground. And now I found my solution. No more drug distribution. No more waking up in hospitals, jails, and institutions. I'm on a different path now. You might call it a real life. I got no need for a gun. But I still got a knife. <laughs> I got a beautiful daughter, a beautiful son, a beautiful wife. And now I daily help others get out from under their strike. So if you need us, come and find us. Here's a hint where to look. As individuals, we're anonymous. But we're in the phone book. Yeah.